Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, we are talking about drugstore blushes and specifically ones that are people of color friendly. So y'all know Fenty just launched their cream blushes and I have received several requests on my Instagram to do a video on all of my favorite drugstore and affordable dupes to the Fenty cream blushes. And I will say right now, I don't really own cream blushes like that. Like to be honest with you guys, I don't own them like that. But I did want to pull out 10 of my go-to blushes that are perfect for people of color. And they're all from the drugstore. They're all affordable. And as I was pulling these out, I did find one blush, one blush, one cream blush that makes a great alternative to the Fenty Cool Berry Cream Blush. Now this is the one that I told y'all in the review video that I did on these was actually my favorite one. So I can't wait to show you guys that. And I also can't wait to show you guys all of my top go-to drugstore blushes. So let's get into it. So I wanna start out with showing you guys the Fenty Blush. This one again is in the shade Cool Berry. And I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I already have a whole review on these blushes but this is what cool berry looks like it's that purple berry mauve type of shade and I'm gonna swatch this one first so y'all can see give you guys a swatch now I'm gonna do it as if I'm applying the blush on my face so I'm not gonna give you guys just one little swatch I'm gonna swatch it and then kind of blend it out as if I would blend it out on my face so that way you guys can really really see how these blushes look I'm gonna do one more little layer just so it can show up a little bit more. All right, that right there is Fenty Cool Berry. And I will put it up close so y'all can see it a little bit better. Okay, now the drugstore alternative to Cool Berry would be the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cream Blush. I have the shade Ripe and Ready, and I was not even thinking to look at these as I was going through my collection pulling out my blushes, but something told me, let me try and see if these are gonna match any of the cream blushes by Fenty. And this one was the closest one, you guys, the closest one that I came across. So I'm gonna squirt it out on my finger and then apply it right beside Fenty Cool Berry. So this is how it looks swatched. Just one little swatch. It's very, very creamy and pigmented. Now with the CoverGirl blushes, you do not need to use a lot of the product because they come out so, so, like it's a lot of product. But let me blend it in on the hand. Yeah, this is the closest, closest, closest actually the only blush in my collection that would be a dupe to Fenty Cool Berry. Very, very close, you guys, like almost spot on. Almost spot on. So yeah, if any of you liked the Cool Berry but you didn't want to spend that much money on the blush, try the one from CoverGirl because these two shades are pretty, pretty close. All right, so moving on to the other ones. All the other ones are gonna be powder blushes. That's the only cream blush that I wanted to share with you. But this next one is one of my old favorites. This is the Milani Red Vino blush. Y'all, if y'all watch me, I feel like from the beginning of my YouTube journey, this was the blush that I would always talk about, always use. It was my ride or die go-to blush. And honestly, it speaks for itself. So this blush is what they call their baked powder blush. This has um, a little bit of gold sheen in it, as y'all can see right here up close. And it also comes with a little mirror on the back. So you just flip it down like that. There's a little mirror and also like a little um, brush that I never use. I just keep it stored back there. But let me show y'all how she looks. Okay, this is just a swatch. Look how pretty look how stinking pretty and then when you blend it out literally the most beautiful 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 blush I've ever seen look how pretty and uh, you can see the gold sheen if you look at it really close it is the most beautiful wine mauve gold Ugh, it's just a bunch of goodness 
So this next one is another old favorite of mine. This one is by Black Radiance. And this shade is called Toasted Almond. This is another one, um, another one of those baked blushes. And the shade of this one is almost similar to the Red Vino by Milani, but it's more um, or like rust orange. And also it's not as pigmented as Milani is. Let me give you guys another swatch. So this one, there it is right there. And then I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more on the hand. So y'all can see here, it's not as, like it's not as red as the Milani Red Vino, but it's still a really pretty rust orange, kind of like a terracotta shade. So these next ones are NYX Cosmetics. These are their Sweet Cheeks Matte blushes so between these two this one was my most used and my most favorite one because i wear it as my everyday blush like for a look like this i would throw this shade on or even if i'm going for those no makeup makeup looks i would throw this shade on so this is called bang bang and then the next one is called red riot this one is considered my fall winter blush because it's more of a deeper shade and i also like to wear both of these as an eyeshadow you guys know Y'all already know I love me an all matte look, so these are great as eyeshadows as well. So let me swatch Bang Bang. I'm gonna swatch this one first. So there's one swatch of Bang Bang. And then blending it out. That's what I like about the NYX blushes is you don't really have to put too much on because they are pretty pigmented as well, but that is how bang bang looks it's a really soft rose color and then we have red riot which is a deeper shade and these are very very buttery smooth you guys there's a swatch of red riot and then blending this one out and there it is at the top Then I have another one by Milani. This is their Rose Powder Blush, and this one is called Spiced Rose. So the difference between this one and the Baked Blush by Milani is the Baked Blushes have more of a, um, you'll see more swirl of shimmer or like a sheen in the Baked Blushes than you would the, um, the Rose Blushes. So these are more matte, but this one does have a little bit of a gold sheen. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. All right, so there's one swatch. So you can already see a little bit of the gold reflection right there if I kind of turn my hand a little bit and then I'll blend it out. And there it is right there. So you can almost see, there it is right there. So when I tilt my hand like this, you can see the gold reflection. So both of these I like to wear without a highlighter because they're not like true matte blushes. They are gonna give me a little bit of a glow on the cheeks so I can go without having to apply a highlighter on this. So if I want more of a glow, then I would put on highlighter, but I prefer to wear them by themselves. So I have another matte blush by Rimmel London. This is called their Maxi Blush in the shade 005. This is actually close to NYX Sweet Cheeks in the shade Red Riot. Let me hold them up close side by side. So these are very, very, very close. I think Red Riot is more berry, more red than Rimmel London but they're pretty close. And I will say Rimmel London is not as creamy or as smooth as the NYX Sweet Cheeks, but they are pretty, pretty pigmented, as y'all can see there. And they look just as good as the ones by NYX. So another one of those all matte blushes without a sheen, like it's a straight up matte blush right there. Okay, y'all, so these next two blushes are probably hands down my favorite, favorite, 
favorite drugstore matte blushes and I think they're actually the cheaper ones too. I think they are but they're by Elf Cosmetics. They're called their primer infused blushes and when I tell y'all this is the best formula from elf um i know they have their quads that come in like four different shades but this right here this blush specifically is their best formula ever in a blush um so i have always spicy this is the one that a lot of you guys know i have raved about a lot in the past and then i have always fiery so between the two this one was my most used because it's Pretty much an everyday type of color but the reason why i say this is their best formula and probably my favorite drugstore blush ever is because the longevity of the blush some blushes they kind of wear down throughout the day but this one stays put it's just such a gorgeous everyday nude mauve rose color and then this is how it looks once blended out y'all a closer view look at that color I know some of these are kind of looking the same but I promise you they're not the same when you look at them in person they are not the same so let me take this color off all right we are down to the very last one and this is the one that I forgot to share with you guys at the beginning when I showed y'all the one by CoverGirl. So I have another one that is great for people of color in the shade Butterflies. It's almost similar to Ripe and Ready, so that purple mauve shade, but it's actually a little bit more pink. And it has more of a, look at that color, y'all. Look how pretty that color is. So yeah, this one is more of a pinky, pink mauve shade. And you can see a little bit of a gold sheen in this one as well. Oh, this is so pretty. It is pretty. So yeah. Now I didn't come across a Fenty blush that was close to this one. The only one that was the closest was um, Ripe and Ready. All the other ones that I thought would be close to Butterflies did not have the kind of like the rose gold, golden sheen like this one does right here. So out of all the other Fenty blushes, the only one that was close to a drugstore blush was Ripe and Ready um, by CoverGirl. So yeah, those are all of my drugstore and affordable blushes that are people of color friendly and also a dupe to the Fenty cream blush as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if I have any of the blushes that you guys own. Let me know what you like, what you dislike. Also, if there's any blushes that I did not mention that you guys already own that is affordable, that's drugstore, that's people of color friendly, let us know down below in the comments. So let's go ahead and talk about it down there. And that is it. That is all that I have. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.